the Echo Slam. Oh, there it is. Forward. There's your slam. There's the dunk. Hello, Gamer Nom is back. So for this video, guys, for those who requested, finally we have the Venom Fruit. But for a shout out to Proxy Gamer Twenty, this video wouldn't be possible without him. Again, bro, thank you. I appreciate you. So guys, time to eat this fruit and level this up. So this fruit has five skills, and you need to reach level three hundred mastery in order to unlock all the skills. Some tips, Gamer Nom, on how to level up your mastery fast. Guys, uh, if your level is high, leveling up master is kinda easy. So first up guys, we have the poison dagger, check that out. First time I used this skill, I'm kinda shocked, check the damage, it's kinda low. So I used my fighting style to damage it and used the venom fruit to last hit the enemy. So with that, with just one kill in the forgotten island, the last island in the second sea, we've reached level 44 of our mastery and with just two kills. 54 mastery which unlocks our second skill the serpent's wrath again this is a skill that you use to travel using this fruit so let's try it with the light fruit again light fruit is one of the fastest if not the fastest fruit in the game there you go <laughs> obviously but what i like with this fruit is that you can control it yes for the light fruit you need to awaken it right before you can control it there you go the speed is not that fast, but guys, check it out. If ever you get bumped, it will dodge the rock on its own, which is good, right? So aside from flying, it also has a damage. Same as with the Awakened Magma Fruit, check it out. There you go, did you see that guys? Diamond was damaged. Okay, so moving on. Next up, we will be unlocking our next skill at mastery 100 yeah i think that's mastery 100 there you go we've reached master 104 now we have the noxious shot basing on my experience i think noxious shot has the highest damage output i'm gonna show it to you later so now we have three skills to damage enemies or to lure them check it out that's the damage of the noxious shot go okay so now we will level up faster how to level up faster gamer now next up is level 200 mastery guys what i did is i attacked the bosses in every island possible there you go for the what do you call this awakened ice admiral just stuck him there and you can defeat it easily there you go just keep doing that what gamer gnome we have the boss in the forgotten island should i defeat that if you have a friend go for it but if you're alone guys i don't suggest that it's kind of hard there you go guys, we've leveled up to 192, next up is Fajita. Guys, again, if you reach this level, you're kinda used to defeating bosses 94, or you can even try Smoker, there you go. So we've reached level 200 mastery, now we've unlocked Toxic Fog, second to the last skill. There you go, so let's try it. Guys, this skill I think is used to like uh, remove the Observation Hockey or lure lots of enemies. It doesn't damage a lot, but check this out. There we go. Not the 467 damage, guys. Focus on the 592. Yeah, that's the damage of the Toxic Fog. There you go. Now we've reached 200 level mastery. Last 100, and we will be unlocking the transformation. So let's fast forward it. Now we're using all our skills. After this, we will unlock the transformation, and we will try it in the Coliseum. A friendly pvp with my brother okay okay so now now guys you're seeing it uh all the skills not the transform version but it's kind of good guys kind of good this fruit will not disappoint you if ever you want it for grinding or in pvp guys in pvp especially in pvp i'm telling you it's kind of strong to be honest it's op okay Okay, so we're almost done with this. Again, as you can see, 299 mastery. Now we've reached 301. Time to transform. Again, we're gonna try this in the Coliseum with my brother. Are you ready, guys? Let's go. So, guys, let's transform now. Again, you need to max out your Fury Meter to transform. Wow. Wow. <laughs> guys, with just the look, it's better comparing it to the King Legacy Venom Fruit transformation there you go wow guys it really looks cool first up 
Will this transformation increase your defense? Yes, it will. Check it out, guys. The damage is 900, right? Again, this is without the transformation. Now we're gonna transform and check if the damage or the defense will increase. Again, this is uh, my brother's point of view. Did you see that? Damage is 400. So again, the, uh, the defense will increase and you need to hit him in the middle in order to damage it. If you're just hitting the foot, no, there won't be any damage. So guys, for the first skill that we're gonna try, the Serpent's Wrath, check it out guys. There are three heads, three serpents circling around your main serpent. And there is a damage. I want you to see that. Check that out, guys. Whoa, the damage is so high. Did you see that? Boom. Almost half damage, guys. Let's check it out. My brother's point of view. He has 7,800 HP, right? And with the Serpent's Wrath. Let's check that. Wow, guys, see the damage. That is more than 4,000. Oh, that's, that's a lot, guys, for the damage. Okay, that's for the initial damage. That's a lot. Additional information, when you're in this form, when you jump, check that out. There are Venom pools out there. If your enemy touches it, he will be damaged. Next, we have the Poison Dagger. Guys, this skill will knock you back. So make sure to, if ever you're gonna use this, check it out. Make sure to use it from top, okay? Either you fly or you jump to make sure that you damage your enemy properly. And, and again, those Venom pools will damage him if he walks on it, okay? Okay, so next up guys, the Noxious Shot. Guys, again, I told you this will give you the highest damage output. Guys, you can one-hit a character that has 8,000 HP with this. Given that he don't move, okay? Again, one more time. Full HP, Noxious Shot. There you go, let's wait for it. Check that out, guys. If you have a stun and you attack your enemy with this, it's over. Alright, guys. Whew. Next up, we have the Toxic Fog, the coolest skill so far. Check that out. Cloud of Venom around you. And everyone that touches it or is within range will be damaged. Let's check it out. Okay, now. Point of view, this is uh, Inaris's point of view. Check the damage, guys. Wow. Almost 5,000 damage. That's a lot, right? More than 5,000. But comparing it to the previous uh, Toxic Fog, if you ever move, it will stay on the area that you cast it. So guys, that's it for the video. I hope that you like it. Please do share it to your friends. Again, to all the viewers, subscribers, supporters, I really appreciate you all. This is GamerNom and GamerNom out. By the way guys, Door Fruit tonight, I'll be posting it. See you. Bye-bye.